giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First Updates Now FTC is produced in partnership with the Orange Alliance. Now FTC is a platform to keep up to date on live and archive first tech challenge events and team stats at theorangealliance.org. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. With that, let's hop into our top 25. Da, da, da. Do we want to start off? We have an honorary mention, mention as our 26th ranked team. We have team 12808. Uh, that is revamped robotics. Uh, and in our pre show discussion, we decided that no offense to our 25th ranked team, but that this team should instead have been 25th ranked. But the community decides uh, what the voting is, so we go with the community and what they would like. Speaking of that 25th ranked team, we had team 8644. And that is the Brainstormers from Lexington, Massachusetts. They are sponsored by their friends and family, and they competed in the Edison division at uh, Detroit. Yeah. Uh, do you guys have anything to say about them? I know we kind of just said that they probably shouldn't be in the top 25, <laughs> which is kind of mean. Uh, but mm -hmm. Last year's winning alliance captain, nothing. Yep. They were super, super strong for a rookie team aside from one person. So I was very impressed with taking that in regard. It's hard to top winning Worlds, but for being a pretty new team, I think they did very well. Yep. I, I, I will mention it was really funny. The announcers on Edison kept talking about the fact that uh, they are the same team, same brainstormers that ret uh, are returning from last year with entire new members. It was kind of funny just to hear them. They constantly were talking about that. They're like, this is the same team we've seen, except with entirely new members. Yep. Um, but it's cool that that happened, that they stuck around, similar to uh, Red Deck. Yes, for sure. We'll see them later up. On, in our 24th ranked slot, we had Team 10635. And that is Unknown Element from Batavia, Illinois. They are a community team, and they were in the Ochoa division at the Detroit Championship, and they were the Ochoa Finalist Alliance first pick. Uh, we talked about them a lot. They were pretty awesome. Have a great robot. Uh, they had an awesome season this year. They really did. I really like looking at pretty darn competitive arm bots, especially with the kind of small sea of them that came out, out of Illinois. They really stuck out. Next up, we have our 23rd ranked slot. We have team 10030. And that is Seven Sigma from Cincinnati, Ohio. We can see their robot on screen, <laughs> screen right now. Uh, they're a neighborhood group. They competed in Edison Division at Detroit, and they are a world record holder along with gluten-free. Uh, something I forgot to mention for our last two teams is Seven Sigma did not appear on our pre-champs uh, rankings. So they are a new addition to the top 25. Uh, Unknown Element was previously ranked 22nd, um, and then the Brainstormers were also not on our pre-champs top 25. Uh, Andrew, do you have anything to add? Um, no, not really. Uh, we did rebuild between states and worlds to a completely different robot. So the robot I held up went entirely into the crater to collect but we decided to go to a new robot for Worlds. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. All right. You, you into... can see that. Sorry, to Ethan. Yeah. You can see that massive linear extension. I'll say that again in the uh, back off to the right of Andrew. Mm -hmm. So You can. You can. All right. Into our 22nd ranked slot, we have Team 10219. Uh, that is Batteries Not Included from, oh, God, uh, Marietta, Georgia, uh, out of the Mount... Uh, Mount Bethel Christian Academy, and they were in the Jeminson division at Houston, and they were the third seed captain in that division. They are also a, a new addition to our top 25. Uh, sorry, if you guys haven't learned by now, I am horrible pronouncing things. Um, <laughs> Good luck with the next one. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Batteries was really strong. I was very impressed for somebody. I hadn't heard of them before champs again, so they really showed up and did pretty darn good. All righty. Into our 21st ranked slot, we have Team 16166. That is Watts Up from, Watts Up from Romania uh, out of a, out of Co, 
Calugo uh, National <laughs> um, in Romania. They're from Romania. Uh, Camp they were Oolong. the Calugo National. Camp Thank you. Oolong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do uh, city whatever. phonetics with game announcers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> they were the show division at Detroit, and they were the captain of the second second ranked? Third ranked. ranked. Third ranked um, seated alliance in the Ochoa division. Uh, as we kind of talked about earlier, it's awesome to see some uh, fantastic Romanian representation. Uh, we had two Romanian teams uh, make it to the Olims, and we have three teams in our top 25 tonight. Yeah. Speaking of Romanian teams in the top 25, we have team, or they have the 20th ranked team, team 15975. Tyler, do you want to pronounce this? I got you. So it's Robodex Hondoria. Hondoria, okay. From, from Hondoria, Romania. That okay. makes sense. Do you want to pronounce their school? Well, I. Man. Uh, you got the city, I think that's good enough. <laughs> Yeah, They're from Hindoria, Romania, in the Ochoa division <laughs> at the Detroit Championship. They are also a new addition to our top 25. Uh, mm -hmm. They were the third-ranked Alliance second pick in Ochoa. And again, like, Romania showed up at champs. These guys really blew me away. I was very impressed. You guys want to move into our 19th-ranked team? Oh, yeah. We have Team 7182. Uh, Mechanical Paradox Cubed from Cantonsville, Maryland. Uh, they are sponsored by the Maryland 4-H Club, and they were in the Ochoa Division. Uh, they were the finalist alliance first pick at the Detroit World Championship in the Ochoa Division. Interesting that they weren't in the original top 25, and then they were first pick overall for their division mm -hmm. by Brainstem, and then now still seating fairly low in the top 25 and 19. Yep. Yeah, really, for being Finalist Alliance. Uh, I think they they were a creator bot at Maryland State. So I think switching over to being a depot main, really making a really strong rebuild, I think helped them a lot seed well. So not really seed well. They seeded pretty bad, but performed a very, very, nice very well. Yes. A very nice looking robot, too. Very nice looking robot. Hex pattern on the side. I loved it. Oh, Reminded me of 33. Speaking Sponsored of, by GoBuilda, who gave us all these giveaways for tonight. Woo! They are. Speaking of really strong depot bots, we have our 18th ranked team, Team 7161. That's Viperbots Hydra from Austin, Texas, out of the Van Grith High School. They were in the Jeminson division at Houston, and they were previously ranked 24th. Uh, at Houston, they were the finalist Alliance captain first pick in their division. They were crazy. I really like their robot. Um, they had a six-motor drivetrain, so their intake was 393s. Their vertical extension was one motor, and then their or their horizontal extension was a motor, and their vertical lift was a separate motor, and then they had a second motor that PTO'd off their drivetrain to hang in that game. Did three of their drivetrain motors PTO off? Is that correct, or is it only? Oh, that may be correct. I I'm, not, I'm right. not sure. Either way, it was a beautiful robot. <laughs> it, it was very, very crazy. I believe they have a Behind the Bot up on our YouTube channel if you want to see more. Uh, yes, All righty. Moving on to our 17th ranked team, we have team 8479. Uh, that is Robo Cavs Gold from Skiesville, Maryland, out of the South Carroll High School. They were in the Edison division. They are a, another new addition to our top 25, and they were on. They were the fourth ranked alliance captain in Edison. They were nice and strong. Another one of those robots that. I didn't know about before champs showed up and really performed very well. Moving up to our 16th ranked team, we have team 10091. And this is Nyan Robotics, not your average nerds from Mundelein, Illinois, out of Carmel Catholic High School. They were previously ranked number nine uh, on our top 25. They were the Detroit Winning Alliance second pick, uh, and they were the first pick, or they were the second pick of the number one alliance on the Edison division. They performed very, very well at Worlds. Um, I was surprised to see them drop down on the top 25. But, yeah, they were very strong. All righty. Into our 15th ranked team. We have team 7236. That is Recharged Green from Pella, Iowa. Uh, that is Ethan's team here. They are Ooh. sponsored by Peace Homeschool Group. Uh, they were the Detroit Finalist Alliance second pick, and they competed in the Ochoa division. For sure. Uh, I don't have very much to say about us. 
<laughs> I was shocked we got second picked. But yeah. Yeah. All right. Did you expect Indu, higher? Uh, I was very scared that we were going to get first picked by somebody, to be honest. <laughs> so I think I'm really, really proud of my kiddos. They did very, very well. All righty. Into our 14th ranked team, we have Team 724. That is Redneck Robotics 1 out of Sims Mountain. Or, so what am I talking about? Out of Sims, Montana. Okay. Uh, they are in the Jeminson division at Houston. They were previously ranked number five on our list, and they were the uh, finalist alliance captain first pick at the Houston World Championship. Sims, Montana. What am I talking Sims, about? Montana. Um, and then what, what rank were they before? In our last uh, time, top 25? Number five. Oh, wow. So they dropped down a fair, fairly large margin. Wow. So Yeah, I think there was a lot of hype around them uh, coming off a awesome world championship win for the, what, second year in a row last year. Um, and uh, it's a totally new team this year. I don't believe there's only if, – if there are any returning members, there are only a few. Uh, so it's really impressive that they got to uh, Da Vinci Field again. Um, yeah, I, I think that people were kind of expecting them to uh, hold up to the same – light that they did in the past few years mm -hmm. they were still very strong i was impressed for sure oh yeah all righty into our 13th ranked slot we have team 14270 that is a uh, quantum robotics they are from romania and they competed in the uh franklin division sorry yeah in the edison division uh at detroit uh, they are a new team on our list and they were the uh, finalists for the motivate award uh, also have one of the best reveals I've seen all year. It was really, really neat. Another one of those really strong Romanian teams. I, they showed up. I was impressed. And their rankings here kind of sh show it off. 13th is pretty, pretty good. Especially for, yeah. They really unique well. looking robot with their dispenser flipping up. Kind of reminds me of 8393's old robot at at least PA States where they Mm -hmm. lift up and then also have another hinge or joint yeah for sure i have their pocketing is definitely interesting on their drivetrain i don't know how i feel about it but it's unique <laughs> well makes sense they're probably trying to cut weight yep for sure all righty do we want to move on to our 12th ranked team uh, let's do it our team we have 98 29 uh, that's MacBots from, or is it MacBots or MakeBots? It's MacBots. MacBots, okay. That's MacBots from San Antonio, Texas. They are a friends and family team, and they participated in the Jeminson division. Uh, they were a finalist alliance captain at Houston. Mm -hmm. uh, they were previously ranked 12 on our list, so the same. One bump up. Oh, yes, yeah, same, sorry. Excuse me. But yes, they are pretty strong. I, again, impressed. Uh, pr Pretty strong, just straight vertical lift. Um, kind of similar to 9971 in that manner. And their transfer is very similar. And yeah, they just kind of worked. It, yeah. Very, very great. Yeah, all right. This game's all about just kind of working, being that's, consistent. That's very true. Yep. In our 11th ranked team, just missing out on the top 10, we have Team 8417. That is Electric Legends from Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. They are a homeschool team, and they competed in the Ochoa Division. Uh, they were the Ochoa Division Finalist Alliance first pick, uh, and they were previously ranked 13th, moving up two spots in our list. Woo. They did pre pretty well. We talked a lot about 84-17 in our Ochoa recap. I'm glad to see them ranked 11th. That was pretty solid. It's another one of those arm arm bots that really showed up for it, for Ochoa. Yeah. Totally, for yeah. And the robots. Into our top 10. Oh, sorry. I was just saying, the robots are just so cool. As you guys, as our viewers saw, and they're uh, behind the bot as we were transitioning, uh, they have a all-custom robot. Every piece is kind of just, like, integrated within each other. Um, they have a cap to cover all the motors to make it look nice. Mm -hmm. They have a, uh, now I'm going to forget what it's called, but uh, a shaft within a shaft. Coaxial. Very, Coaxial, coaxial, thank you. A coaxial bearing uh, so that they can move different parts of their robot. It's a like kind of masterpiece of a robot. It is. Moving into our 10th ranked team, we have Team 7105. That is Swift Intergalactic Space Llamas from Vass, 
uh, North Carolina. They are sponsored by Swift Robotics Youth Club, and they competed in the Franklin Division at Houston. Uh, they were also the Franklin Finalist Alliance first pick. They were really strong. Another one of those really strong arm bots. And they were just dead simple. It was just rotate into the creator, grab some stuff, rotate back. Uh, I really, really enjoyed watching their robot move this year. And it was put together and have a very, very consistent color scheme. Yeah, no, right. totally. Moving up into our ninth ranked slot, we have T10435. Uh, that is the Circuit Breakers from Waukee, Iowa, out of the Waukee Timberline High School. They were in the Edison Division at Detroit, and they were the third ranked Alliance captain on Edison. Ooh. Iowa team, more Midwest. Um, they were very, very strong. Another just stupid, simple arm bot that just worked. They had a lot of practice, made some small improvements for Worlds, and just went at it. In our number eighth ranked slot, we have team one, two, two, three, one. That is uh, Warrior Tech from Denver, Indiana. Uh, they are sponsored by North Miami Middle and High School, and they were in the uh, Edison Division at the Detroit Championship. Uh, they were also the Edison Division Finalist Alliance first pick. Yes, they really kind of shined when they played Depot and did a lot of pretty solid defense, too. Their arm is very, very strong, which makes playing some Depot defense really just work. It's also just a very beautiful, low-to-the-ground robot. Quite awesome. And they were uh, previously ranked sixth, so they moved down two spots in our rankings. Yeah, they were, I was really impressed by their performance at Worlds. They were very, very solid. In our seventh ranked slot, we have Team 5064. Uh, this is Aperture Science from Western Olmens High out of uh, Elon, North Carolina. They were in the Franklin Division at Houston, and they were the Houston Winning Alliance first pick. Uh, they have moved up from the 18th ranked spot, so they were jumped 11 spots in our top 25 from our last poll. Ooh. Yes, they were really, really solid. Um, I liked how many times they rebuilt this year. <laughs> I think they had a different design at every competition. It was crazy, but they did very, very well. I mean, I guess they won Worlds, so hard to get. Very much better than that. But I really enjoyed their robot, and they have some pretty awesome members as well. In our sixth rank slot, we have Team 6929. That is uh, Data Forest from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. They are sponsored by the uh, Moranon... Mor Morion Foundation. Uh, they were out of the Jeminson Division at Houston, and they were the uh, previously ranked 20th team, so they have jumped the most in our rankings, uh, excluding teams who are recent additions to the list. They were uh, the Jeminson Division Finalist Alliance Captain at Houston, and they were also um, the Design Award winner. Yeah. Final Alliance Captain last first, year. Yeah, first seed. Yep. Yeah, that sounds right. They won think at Worlds last year, so they're coming back with that second award win in a row, which is really rare. A lot of times we don't see teams win two awards back-to-back, -back, and they perform really well like they do every year. <laughs> that, yeah, Data Force has been a constant since probably Rescue. All righty. In our they're one, of those, rank oh, sorry. they're one of those teams that seem to invade a lot coming from, <laughs> I think they've competed in West, North, and... I don't know about, about at least West and North Super Regionals dominating in both. Yeah, they were really, really crazy both years. I think they went to three state championships this year. Wow. At least three. They went to a lot. That's and, a lot. Yeah, that was, that's the most you can go to and still qualify. So they really, and it's their, they have a region for it. They have a lot of open slots. So moving on to our fifth ranked team, we have team 3101. Jumping up 10 spots from our last ranking, that's the Boombots from Palm Harbor, Florida. Uh, they are out of uh, Palm Garber High, and they were in the Franklin Division at the Houston World Championship. They were the Houston Winning Alliance captain. So major congratulations to them. They were very, very solid. And I'm sure we talked a lot about them at our Houston recap. They just showed up, did what they do every match, and just worked. You can see them scoring points like they always do they had their robot was weird but i was it worked really well so that's really what matters 
they're out of Florida, which kind of is a return of that really strong Florida FTC feel that we haven't seen in a little while. Uh, yeah, that last team was Masquerade, right? Um, probably. I was kind of sad that they didn't do quite as well at Worlds as we hoped, but that's okay. Happens to the best of us. <laughs> in our fourth-ranked slot, we have Team 83-93. Uh, B Zeb in chat. Guess it. It's the giant descent. I should know this by now. Giant Symphalic Brainstem Robotics Team. Uh, they are from the Brainstem Learning LLC and NXT Innovations out of Baden, Pennsylvania. They were the Detroit Finalist Alliance Captain out of the Ochoa Division and the Inspire Award winner. <laughs> that that was a really fun experience. Uh, so I was sitting in the stands on Ford Field and they were talking about the Inspire winner. And I got to look over and just see brainstem people freaking out. Like, yo, we just win Inspire as we're waiting for our second match on Ford Field. <laughs> so they got to run over, receive their banner, run back to working on their robot within like five minutes. Well, and then the best part about that is um, there's one time that at Worlds that Gluten Free lost. And it was in that second match right after they got their Inspire award, which is pretty fun for them, I assume. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. That, that would be... That would be a match. All right. I, excluding talking about the robot, which I really loved. It was very fast. Uh, heavier than you'd think, but very, very solid. Uh, they, oh. I was going to say, they jumped up 12 spots in the rankings from 16th. Wow. So I, I loved watching them drive. They were a lot of fun. All righty. In our number three ranked slot, we have Team 9971. That's the Land Bros from Vincenttown, New Jersey. They are sponsored by Ernst and Young. I, are you actually sponsored by Ernst and Young, Jack? And Edge Robotics <laughs> Club. Um, they are out of the Edison division, and they were the Detroit Winning Alliance captain. Uh, their pre-champs ranked before was third. All right. So that stay works. at the same spot. Yeah, we talked about them a lot. Their robot didn't change noticeably at all before Worlds, except some different side plates. So. I think a different sorter as well, but not too sure. Oh, yeah. I believe he had two sorters for Worlds, if I remember correctly. So he had one specifically for each side. It was very, very nice. All right. Moving into our second-ranked slot, we have Team 8680. That is Kraken uh, Pinion from Mequon, Wisconsin, out of Homestead High School. Uh, they were the Detroit second seed captain and the Edison uh, finalist alliance. Um, yeah. They're nope. awesome. They were. Uh, I love watching the robot run, just like we have all season. Um, it hasn't changed much since their state championships, but it works. Everything got a little bit faster. They changed deposit slides. It was Better to driving. Watch, to watch. Drive practice <laughs> always seems to help. Yeah. yeah drive practice always helps. Uh, also ranked second in our pre-champs. Yep. So that means I think it's Pretty clear. Our first ranked team, Team Tardis. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> team 1-1. One, one, uh, team one, team one, 1. I thought it was just Team 1. <laughs> Unlimited. Team uh, that is one 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 five gluten Gluten-Free from Hollis, New Hampshire. I'm sure everyone knew that they were our number one ranked team. Uh, they are two brothers. Uh, they were in the Edison division. And they are the Detroit Winning Alliance first pick control award winner. Uh, the holder of five world records now. Uh, too, uh, too many. And Connor, Five one of just Connor, Detroit. One More of Connor that, McBride's favorite teams because they're from New Hampshire. <laughs> yeah. They're uh, awesome. We don't need to talk about them. Well, we could talk about them for a whole show. Um, that we probably have at this point, if we're being honest. <laughs> definitely. But their robot is very, very beautiful to watch. And yeah, they did very, very well at Worlds, as we all have seen. Um. Quick question, I guess, now that we're looking at this and we can see their MTI banners, do you think they're going to take MTI again? I think it's a pretty obvious answer, but... I think so. Yep. I'm rooting for 7182-11115 for the third year in a row. It'd be really that fun. would be really awesome. Um, yeah. So, uh, should we roll for our uh, winner of the third giveaway? I think we should. All right, so once again, we're uh, giving away the uh, Strafer uh, chassis kit. Um, so that's from Go Build -a once again. So, guys, make sure you go give Go Build -a some love. Say hi. Say the first update's now sent you and that you want even more giveaways on future shows. That's how they know. Seriously, you go tell them and say, like, hey, I saw you on fun. 
You should do more giveaways on fun. They will give us more stuff. It's a very simple equation. So please go do that, uh, and we'll get more stuff uh, for giveaways in the future. Uh, with that said, Go Build or Go Home was the uh, keyword, and the winner is going to be Philippe, 160303. Congratulations uh, for winning. Once again, guys, if you do win, please make sure you reach out to First Updates now with your uh, first name, last name, shipping info, all that fun stuff that we need to mail stuff out to you. Things to take probably up to about four to six weeks, so please keep that in mind as well. But congratulations, and uh, thanks again to Go Build Up for amazing giveaways on air. Felipe. All righty. Well, huge congrats to that giveaway winner. I'm excited to see what you do with that really awesome drivetrain chassis. And thank you guys for all the follows and subscriptions we received today. Don't forget that you can subscribe for free if you or your parents have Amazon Prime. We hope you enjoyed this episode of FTC Recap and FTC Top 25. If you enjoyed what we do here at FUN, you can follow us on all our socials at FUNFTC. And you can join our Discord through the link in the chat. So before we wrap up here, um, we're going to send a little raid over to uh, one of the fellow FUN hosts who's currently streaming right now. And, and it's now they're not streaming anything first-wise, but I'll tell you what, chat. This is your opportunity to go and, and be you. Go be you in, in his chat because you can't do it here because we'll time, time you on and ban you. Go be who you truly are uh, in uh, this person's chat. So we're going to go raid uh, Robothino or Thino TV is playing some planet side. Uh, so right after uh, Nathan gets done reading uh, the wrap up here, we're going to click that raid button. Uh, let it sit for a couple minutes and uh, go and do that. Ooh. Totally, yeah. So uh, Ethan, Shishir, Tyler, and I would love to thank you all uh, so much for tuning in throughout the season and for supporting our shows by watching, subscribing, and following. Uh, we would love to hear your feedback about how you think our first season of doing fun FTC uh, went. So please let us know in our Discord in the hashtag FTC Improvements channel. Um, uh, we will be running shows during the off season, so stay tuned for announcements about them. And on behalf of myself, Ethan, Andrew, our other hosts on the Houston Recap, uh, and our producer Tyler working behind the scenes. I would like to thank you all for tuning in. Uh, have a great night, everyone. And please go say hi to Theno TV. Uh, he's an mm -hmm. awesome supporter of fun. So go join the raid on their channel. Good night. Good night. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support Fun Live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping Fun loud, live, and independent.